Would you trust an AI to diagnose you? Um, today we trust AIs to fly planes. Right? When you get on an airplane, typically the AI is flying it, the computer is flying it. Um, to me, I think the role of AI in medicine is really about augmenting what doctors do. Right? I don't believe that an AI can actually replace a doctor because there's a human element. Um, when you go into a clinic, most, I mean, most doctors will tell you this, patients that lie all the time. Right? When you go into a clinic and you see your doctor, and your doctor goes, have you been drinking? You're going to say no. Right? Now, an AI is not going to know that you're lying because the AI only knows what you tell it. But a doctor reads body language. Right? He looks at your family. He sees the body language of everybody around you. Um, and for me, that's really where AI plays a role. It's not to replace the doctor, but it's to take all the things that a doctor does, which they really don't have to do, and figure out how to automate that. Um, so one of the ways that we do this is we use AI to actually power chat apps. And the reason why we power chat apps is because everybody has WhatsApp, Facebook, Line, Telegram. Um, we don't need you to download another app, but we can actually use AI to power chat apps and scale that all around the world. Um, we talk about access, right? Everybody has phones. And if you look at every single country in this region, one of the things that keeps growing you know, year after year is the internet. Right? I go to the Philippines. There's like 80 million people in the Philippines with Facebook. Um, Indonesia, 190 million people out of 280 have WhatsApp. So for me, that's really how we can marry sort of tech and health to really reach more people.